Okay, so hello there and welcome to today's um, video tutorial. Um, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a Minecraft teleportation station. Ooh, that's quite a mouthful. So it's um, quite small, condensed and really easy to set up. So hit the orange button. As you can see it takes me to the orange floor. Let me try again with the pink floor. So top floor. Hit the pink button. Takes me to the top floor. So it's really quite easy to use and as you can see it's quite condensed. It doesn't take up much space, you've just got one command block placed behind a normal block. And I didn't mention that before, but the command blocks have come in the new update, they're really good. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff we can do with them. So what you could do is you could add numbers along the top or the bottom, and you can have it like an elevator, kind of button press or a lift button press. Um, so yeah, um, to get the command block, what you have to do is you have to do forward slash, give, then type your name there. And then afterwards, 137, that's the kind of ID number for the command block, and then 1. That's how many I want to be given. Obviously, I'm in creative mode, so I only need one. So yeah, um, kind of takes up no space. Um, you can't find it in your inventory little bit in creative mode, I don't think. Um, so I'm not sure you can find it there. So what you need to type into the command block is kind of like teleport and then something else. So to find out your kind of coordinates of where you want to teleport to, stand on the platform or wherever you want to teleport to hit F3, or on a Mac, hit function then F3 at the same time, and you can see up the top left I've got an X, Y, and Z coordinate, or a Z coordinate. And you want to kind of note them down, and then go back to the command blocks, and you're going to type them in. So you're going to go to your command block, and what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it, and you're going to do forward slash TP, teleport, and then at P, and then the coordinates, okay? So as you can see, you want, you can see I've got a three gap here, so the Y coordinate goes up in threes every time. So it's actually the same X coordinates and the same Z coordinates in each one. So it's really easy to kind of, to kind of remember. And then you just add three to the Y coordinate each time. So that's pretty much everything I've got to say about this. Um, you can make it look more fancy or you can have a number system, as I said before. And yeah, that's pretty much everything about this teleportation. So there's a lot more features about that. But um, if you want to see any of my other videos, if you enjoyed this video, I've got a block swapper here. That's another redstone tutorial. And I've got a TNT time bomb. So, and that's really good as well. It's re they're both really simple to set up and great to use. So thanks for watching and see you guys later.